guys what is up it's Anne and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello what's up it's Anne and welcome to my channel so if you guys didn't know I have my own swimwear line and recently I've been doing a lot of videos about it and I realized that I never really introduced Sinaya to you guys and a lot of my friends have been asking me questions about it as well and like the process of creating Sinaya so why not create a video, a Q&A video asking the frequently asked questions I asked you guys on my personal Instagram which is at anfabsy if you guys have not followed me shameless plug um, but I asked you guys to ask me some questions and as well as on Sinaya's Instagram story and you guys came through with some really good questions and when I read through the questions they were some questions that I really found hard to answer but I'm gonna try to answer them as best as I could but Anyways, so if you want to know more about creating a business, the nitty and gritty part of owning a business and what it's really like, then continue watching. I wrote down the questions because I'm using my phone to film. I'm not gonna say who asked it because I'm not gonna say the same questions because there are a lot of questions that are just similar. But I am gonna flash the photos, the screenshots of the questions on screen. So yeah, first question is how did you start? Did you remember the moment when you said you wanted to do this? I really cannot, I was thinking about this for the past two days, but I really cannot remember. And I feel like the reason why I cannot remember is because it's always been something that I kind of have wanted. Like I have always been into fashion. I've always loved bikinis. That's, I'm not sure if that answers the question, but next question. What or who inspire you to do a brand that lines with your advocacy? And in line with this, a lot of people asking me what like what inspires my brand. There's a lot of different things that inspired me to do a brand. It is an, a combination of like my personal experiences with colorism, with body shaming and slut shaming, and as well as as I've said, my love for the beach, my love for fashion. It's all a mixture of that. It's really everything that I love and everything that I stand for coming together as one. But one of the things that really inspired this brand is it's called Girl Boss. If you've read it, then you know. There's just such beauty in creating something so small into something so big. So, yeah. I don't feeling ko sobrang bali na mga sagot ko sa mga tanong na to. What's your goal and future plans? This is exciting. Um, well, I have a lot of plans about Sinaya, but I feel like, well, short-term plan is to hopefully have our website up and running like the start of 2021 and to hopefully be able to manufacture every single bikini that we put out because right now in our first collection we only manufacture one of the designs which is Rosafe and that's why it's available in custom sizes and everything else we kind of get it from a supplier and in our second collection which we're working on right now we have two designs from that collection that we are manufacturing on our own but yeah the goal is to manufacture it. everything that we put out and another goal that i have is to have worldwide shipping which is gonna be hard so we're still well when i'm in the we <laughs> me, myself, and I um, is still researching about international shipping and like how payments are gonna go and I don't have any knowledge whatsoever on what goes behind international shipping and I am continuously learning I'm trying to research about that and 
I mean, we're just starting, so yeah, those are plans that I am willing to put the work to. So we hopefully be able to achieve those in the future. Next question is, what is your advice to young people such as yourself who wants to start their own business? My advice is to just go for it. Also, like, do not pressure yourself. Failure is scary. And I know that's one of the things that goes through a person who is about to start a business. That's something that goes through your mind. And it should. You should think about what if this happened. You should think about those things, but you should not let those hinder you from doing what you love. And it's not just about business, it's about your passion. It's about everything that you want to do in life. I recently watched a video of Adeline Morin basically talking about her business ventures in the past years and um, what she's learned. And it was inspired by another woman in business. So. I'm gonna link both their videos on the description box if you guys want to watch it but one of my takeaway from that video from those videos is that failure is a step to create the next big thing and so that's my advice to everyone who want to start a business especially for people my age you know you're in your 20s or your teens and you want to create a business it's never too early to create a business it's never too late so just go for it because you'll never know if you don't try so yeah next is how do you decide on styles and inspos when i was choosing the designs and the styles of the bikinis on our first collection i looked at it in a consumer point of view and at the same time a producer point of view so as a consumer i'm the type of person that hates repeating my bikinis unless it's like a bikini that i really want and i have like just two bikinis that i repeat and as a producer that's exactly what i wanted to produce a bikini that my consumer would always want to wear but i definitely think of a theme first of what i want to do like for the first collection it's basic so it's not so basic basic i wanted the colors to be basic and the designs are kind of basic as well but it should be classy it should be timeless and elegant and that's how i choose on which designs go into my collection okay what are the challenges and struggles that you face during and creating your business well one of the challenges is really just starting because it's so easy to dream it's so easy to be ambitious it's so easy to plan things but actually putting in the work is hard and that's probably like one of the hardest things that i had to go through because as i've said like i've had this vision of creating my brand like four years ago or i've always had that um, but it took four years and a pandemic for me to start so yeah I would say starting is hard and then during the month I, I would say pricing because when I was doing uh, computing the prices and stuff like that first of all I have no knowledge whatsoever because I did not listen to our entrepreneur class <laughs> but um, it was very hard like knowing market price stuff like that which are very freaking technical but also like i was very scared that people or my friends would think that my product is overpriced a lot of videos that i watch they call it price shaming but it was i was very scared with my pricing there's definitely like cheaper bikinis but really you're getting what you're paying for and there's also way more high-end bikinis um, in the Philippines and just in general. That took so long for me to decide how much do I want my bikinis to cost. But you know, um, one of the things that I've learned in a lot of classes that I attended to was that you are the only one who knows how much your product is worth. And when it comes to pricing, it's not only money that you spend in creating your bikinis, but it's also the time that you spend, time and effort, because time is money. 
so I kind of just said you know what kid and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna price this how much I think it's worth and so far it's been good so and now I'm going through it again with the second collection but I know better now I think so <laughs> okay so last question is why swimwear so I knew since I was young that I was gonna do something related to fashion when I was thinking of what I want my product to be I kind of thought about three things three things that I love that was swimwear bags and coffee those are the only thing that comes close to how much I love bikinis and the coffee and bags like those two things deserves that deserves requires a lot of capital I'm gonna be honest I don't have a lot of, of knowledge when it comes to creating them and I still want to do both those things I still want to make both those things in the future but I need to study about them more I need to have a little bit more funds to create them and yeah but that's definitely something on my bucket list still and the other thing is for me I've always had a special connection with bikinis I feel like I've always loved wearing them I love buying them I love collecting them I love taking photos in them I just I have a photo when I was 10 years old wearing a bikini at home that was the only place that I ever wear a bikini to because I would be slut shame as fuck but um my bikinis are my sort of activism like I a lot of people ever since I was in high school would shame me for wearing not even super daring clothes like I was wearing shorts because I was living in the hottest place in the Philippines literally but people would shame me for that and so when I started wearing bikinis and started filming bikini photos I received a lot of shit for it and now this is my sort of this is my middle finger raising to everyone who shamed me for wearing and posting bikini photos you know I was also insecure with my body for a long time and I feel like right now I am the most comfortable with my flaws and going through that I kind of want to create a brand that normalizes normal bodies because not everyone is skinny thin thin and not everyone has big boobs big ass there's so many size and shapes and one of the reasons why i want to manufacture my own bikinis is because i want my brand i call it exclusive inclusivity i want to create custom pieces and custom sizes made for your body i want it to be exclusive in that way but also be inclusive in a way that we make bikinis for every shape and sizes there is so yeah I feel like I answered that so long. That's the question is why swimwear. Yeah, well, we're ending it on a high note. But that's it for all of the questions that you guys have asked me. If you guys want me to do another Q&A or I'm thinking about creating a video about accepting me as me, um, then make sure to comment down below and let me know and i would love to do one for you guys but yeah that's it for this week's video i hope you guys liked it i hope you learned a thing or two and i hope you guys will check out sinaya swim again it's just sinaya swim on instagram and if you're already on instagram might as well check my instagram as well you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah my instagram is just at and fabsy and that's it for this week's video and i will see you guys next week with another one Bye! Peace and blessings to every single one of you. Oh,
Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck Oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say What the deal, how you feel, 